I'm JT, Jeremiah Terminator Leroy. When I encountered the story, I had never heard of JT Leroy, uh, nor had I read the books. There was a lot of ink generated when the scandal broke in 2006, and I read all these uh, pieces, and there was one voice glaringly missing, and that was the voice of the author. Uh, the writer of the fiction on and off the page. Some people think that J.T. Leroy might not really exist. My name's Laura Albert, and I am the writer, J.T. Leroy. She had been approached by many other documentarians and Hollywood over the years, and it had been about 10 years, and she had turned everyone down, but upon seeing The Devil and Daniel Johnson, she decided to share her story with me. The books were taking off. JT had to walk amongst us. Savannah was over at my house, and I said, you look like JT Leroy. You wear the sunglasses, a blonde wig. It was like Frankenstein, let there be life. It was like a zeitgeist moment in publishing history because not only were these transgressive fiction books, but it crossed over into the fashion world, into Hollywood, into the music world journalism, the public converged <laughs> on J.T. Leroy. J.T. is the go-to person for the fashion world. I showed just enough to make them interested. In 2006, the New York Times broke the story that J.T. Leroy, in fact, did not exist. It turned out was a, a woman from who was born in Brooklyn, who was Jewish, who'd never been to a truck stop before in her life, Laura Albert. I wanted to hear Laura Albert's side of the story because she had held it back. And I thought, you know, wow, what was her backstory? And my hope was to find buried within all of this deceit and fiction what Herzog defined as the ecstatic truth. I intentionally made a subjective film. This is her telling of her story and she shares it all. Was it a hoax? That's for the audience to decide but I believe when you get to the end of the film you certainly uh, will question that label.